Hey guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is, I don't know what day it is, but it's December 25th, 2020, which means it's Christmas day. I think it's Friday. I can't remember. <laughs> Anyway, how is everybody doing? Uh, my name is Rose. I like to crochet. I also like yarn a lot. Um, I live here in the Chicago area with my daughter, um, whose nickname is Carrots, like the vegetable. And we got a whole bunch of crazy animals that live here too. Anyway, uh, I came on here today because I finally got my wool warehouse order, which is that bag. And then I got a knit crate, which is that bag. And I ordered something from Jane at Scraptastic Yarns, which is that bag. So I wanted to just share with you guys what I got. I'm considering these my Christmas presents. Um, I also uh, might have gone to the store to buy some yarn. I only have one finished object and I got some cards. So I wanted to share with you these holiday cards um let's see admin stuff um go over to our facebook group which is linked down below we are at 2,000 members over there, and there is um, a giveaway going on, which I think ends in a couple days. So please go over there and join. Uh, you only have to answer three questions. Now, there is also a Facebook business page, which is connected to my Instagram. Um, and you can't, re you could post on there, but no one's really going to see it. And if you want, like, um, uh, suggestions and advice, you should go to the Facebook group. So it is linked down below. So go and check it out. Um, I also have Instagram and uh, it's all Rose Likes Crochet. You can email me anytime, roselikescrochet at gmail.com. Oh, you guys see this? <laughs> you know what? It is so cold outside, you guys. When I go to walk the dog, I you can't even see my face. It's so cold outside. I think yesterday the temperature was 11. Fahrenheit and the real field temperature was zero because the wind was so cold. <laughs> anyway, so email me anytime. Uh, also, I have an Etsy shop. Now, I did want to make sure to let everyone know I've had a lot of um, questions and emails from people asking where their order is because I do sell a lot of stitch markers and I sell shawls and um, anyone can go on uh, any news source and see that the U.S. Postal Service is way far behind. So I've tracked a couple packages for some of my customers and it just will say in transit. So unfortunately, just so you guys know, if you're waiting on a package for me, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. Um, I can track it for you. Um, someone asked me to make a claim at the post office, which I'll, I'll try and do on Monday. Um, but like we have no control over it once it leaves us, um, especially if it's not priority. Uh, so I apologize for anyone who has placed an order and hasn't received it yet. I think a lot of people are dealing with um, the slowness of the delivery services and it's just to be expected. If you guys could have patience, that would be great. You'll consider yourself getting a Christmas present in January. <laughs> so anyway, I'm so glad you guys are here. Um, I'm going to try and make this quick. I know with all the Vlogmas videos, I can't keep up. So I'm going to try and make this quick for you guys. Okay, so let's do cards first. So let me see here. I kind of slid open the bags on this and I opened up the envelopes, but I didn't look at the cards yet. So this first card, it just says it's from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And there is the card. It is a very sparkly snowman. And it says, just a happy holiday wish that your season will be merry and your new year will be bright. From Mary Kay something. I will butcher the name if I try and say it. And she left me a very nice note and I will read that later. So thank you so much. Uh, this next card is from Marsha. And this is from Made by Marsha's mom, Marsha. Hi, Marsha. And um, she addressed it to me in carrots and look at the back of the envelope. So she makes all of her cards homemade and she does a really, really awesome job. So he, oops, something just came out of there. So here is the card that she made and yes, it's handmade and it's snowflakes and it says happy Hanukkah. And I so appreciate that, Marsha. It's beautiful. And uh, she sent me some tea. So thank you, I'll drink that later. 
And she says, I apologize, I didn't get this to you before or on time for the start of Hanukkah, but no, I was thinking of you, love, Marsha. Ah, thanks, Marsha, I appreciate that. And I love you back. So you guys, if I talk about any um, anyone who has a YouTube channel or an Etsy shop or anything, I will have them linked down below, okay? All right, this next card is from Tammy Fike, and she is from Florida, and I know who Tammy is. Uh, she says, may the special gifts of the season be yours to treasure, and this is Tammy from Twisted Stitches. Now, Tammy has been doing a great job with Vlogmas, and she has some really cool, like, hand-dyed yarns that she's showcasing, so you guys should go and check her out. Hi, Tammy. Thank you for the card. All right, this next card is from Mary Clark, and she is from California. And look at how pretty that is. Oh, I just love it, it's beautiful. Oh, she's got a whole note in here. So there's a whole note, I will read that later. And it just says, sending cozy thoughts and warm wishes for a very Merry Christmas and a happy, healthy, and prosperous 2021. Sincerely, Mary. Mary, thank you so much, and I will read your letter later. <laughs> All right, this next one comes from Melissa Perez, also from Florida. And she put a little pinwheel back there. And this is the card she sent me. It's a Hanukkah card. Thanks you guys so much for the Hanukkah cards and the Christmas cards. I love them. She says, uh, and the love of family this Hanukkah, Happy New Year from Melissa. And she sent some, some stickers. So there's a, it looks like a pancreatic cancer awareness sticker. And this, this one has a wolf on it. And it says, I am strong because I have been weak. I am fearless because I have been afraid. I am wise because I have been foolish. Well, isn't that the truth? <laughs> Thank you so much for those stickers, Melissa. I'm going to figure out where to put those. All right, this next card is from Karen Schumacher, and she's from Connecticut. And I wish I could show you. Oh, you know what? I'm going to try and show you this. This must be her puppy. I just don't want anyone to see her address. Look at the puppy. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. So this is the card. I love it. it. says, wishing you and yours peace and joy this holiday season. Happy Hanukkah from Karen. Karen, thank you so, so much. I appreciate it. And this last card is from Lenora, and she is from Ohio. Hello, Ohio. And there is the card she sent, believe. And it says, enjoy the wonder of the season. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from my family to your family. Oh, thank you so much. You guys are so, 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 so sweet. Okay, so I'm going to show you the one finished object that I have. <laughs> and if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this. But you guys, I have this this thing with uh, Zelda NRJ. Hi, Z-Bear. Um, she did a tutorial, I don't know, a year or two ago on how to make these loveys. And I've actually had one of these Dumbos before and it sold out. And then I actually saw it again at the store the other day and I had to buy it. So Z does a tutorial, I'll link it down below, on how to do these loveys. And I just couldn't resist him. With his little nose and his humongous ears, I made this guy into a lovey and he so soft. I just love it. So um, for those of you who are new, what you do is you make this blanket part around hair ties. So they're stretchy hair ties. So here you go, right? And then you make the blanket whatever colors, whatever size. And then the person who gets this, they can take it off and they can wash it because you know kids drag these things around all the time. And then all you have to do is slip it on your, your little stuffed animal and you have a lovey. And it is one of my favorite things to do. So Z, I so appreciate that you did this tutorial. I love it and I love the Dumbo and he is for sale in my Etsy shop. So that's my only finished object. <laughs> If you guys were here last time, you saw that I was finishing up a ton of blankets. I'm working on more. So, okay, so I'm going to show you. I went to Michael's and they had a sale on Karen cakes and I had to get myself some skinny cakes. So let me show you what I got. Okay, so the skinny cakes, I think we're on sale for $6.99. So I'm going to show you guys what they look like. Um, I really, really enjoy collecting Karen cakes. Um, 
the regular Karen cakes. I have some anniversary cakes. I don't have any baby cakes. Um, I don't have any more cotton cakes, um, but I really enjoy collecting them. Um, so I'm going to tell you about them and then I'll show you. I only bought three of them. I was trying to be good. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you about them and then I'll tell you the colors that I got. All right. So this one, Karen Skinny Cakes, it is, let's see here. Uh, it says it is a number three lightweight yarn. It recommends a four millimeter knitting needle, four millimeter crochet hook. It is machine washable and dryable, 100% acrylic, 8.8 .8 ounces, 250 grams, 795 yards, 727 meters. And let's see if they tell us where it's made. Made in India. So this particular color is called Turkish Delight. And I was just watching Granny D. Hi D, and she said this one was her favorite and I can see why. It's not my favorite because it's not purple, <laughs> but it is really, really pretty. I don't know why there's such a big gap. Oh, that's just dark yarn. Um, so super, super nice. Love that. So Turkish Delight is this one. And then this one is called Sweet Mints. And this is just all shades of green. And I don't know what my deal is with green, but I've lately had an obsession with green. Don't worry, purple is not going anywhere. <laughs> so that one is super, super pretty. I really like that one too. And then uh, this is about as close to purple as I could get that day. Uh, this one is called Sugared Ube, U-B-E. That has like some aqua in there and these purpley colors or like denim -y colors. I don't know, like a, not like a cornflower blue. I don't even know what that's called. I don't know, but this is gorgeous. So I only got one of each because I figured for 795 yards, I could probably make a shawl out of one of these. Um, so if anyone has any ideas, if you could please put in the description or in the comment section down below, um, a pattern or two that you think might work well with these skinny cakes for just one of them. So 795 yards um, for a nice lightweight shawl. Let me know. All right, so now we'll get on to the packages. <laughs> so I ordered this bag from Jane at Scraptastic Yarns. And by the way, if you guys could please say an extra prayer for Jane, uh, her husband is in the hospital. Um, you can check out her latest video just to get caught up on her. But um, Jane, we're thinking about you and praying for you and your husband. Um, I got this from her a while ago. I just shoved it somewhere and forgot about it. But I ordered a project bag from her. So let me show you what I got. Okay, so she sent an invoice. Um, and it just says mermaid drawstring knit crochet project bag. And, uh, it was not expensive at all. So, um, she, I'm going to show you the bag and then you'll see why I got it. It looks very blue, but it's more of like a bluey purpley color. And it is really, really pretty. And it is just the perfect size for like a shawl or a smaller project. Uh, I'm really working just on blankets right now, so this obviously <laughs> won't work, um, but it's gorgeous. Wow, I love it. Jane, you do great work. And then she sent me her card, um, but I'll link her down below. And she sent me a little butterfly stitch marker. That's so pretty, thank you, Jane. And she sent me a mask. Oh, and it's purple. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so she sent me a mask to go with it. So Jane, thank you so much. Your bag is beautiful. And let, just so you know, we are all praying for you and your husband. And um, I hope that he is okay. All right, so now I got Knit Crate. Okay, so you guys, I got Knit Crate before and I said I wasn't sure I was gonna keep it and then I canceled it. And then I, you know, they had the $5 special and so I got it again and I wasn't sure about it and um, I'm still not really sure about it. So I actually canceled it again, <laughs> but they had already charged me for this one. So we're, we're gonna open this one up. I don't know what it is. Like I've gotten all these knit crates and I haven't used any of them. So why am I still getting this subscription? Seriously. Okay, so a couple people have already opened up their knit crates. Um, so I'm not gonna go too much into this, but you get this little, it's not even a project bag, you guys. It says yarn squad carries their projects in a bag like that 
The only saving grace on this is that it's purple. Anyway, uh, you might see that in a giveaway. <laughs> okay, now the saving grace on this is definitely the yarn, okay? Because it's really, really pretty. Here is the card, December 2020 Squad Goals. And you know that they plant a tree when you buy um, one of their knit crates. I think that's all that's in there. And then this was the yarn that I got. And so for me, this is definitely worth it. That's more the color right there. It is sparkly yarn. Um, you've probably seen it a couple times already. Uh, so let me tell you about the yarn. This is by Audine Wools, which is for Knit Crate. And it is, I guess, in conjunction with Christy Glass Knits. It's called Twinkle DK. The colorway on this is called Knit Yorker. It is 80% merino wool, 10% cashmere, 10% Stellina, 250 yards, 100 grams, hand wash only, lay flat to dry. And it actually has lot numbers on it. So luckily both of mine are the same lot number. <laughs> no, I can't imagine they would send different lot numbers. But I don't know if you guys can even see the Selena on there. There you go. That's not the right color, but you can at least see the sparkle on there. So this will be my last knit crate. Um, I did try a couple other subscription boxes that I really enjoyed, like Southern Skeins and Knit Circus, which I think I have one more coming from there. Um, but I think I'm going to stop any subscription boxes for now just because I don't use them. Not because I don't like them, but because, I don't know, I guess now I'm doing blankets, so I don't have time to use them. Um, so I'm, I'm going to hold off on any subscription boxes for now. I think what I might do is as the weather gets nicer, just go to local yarn shops, which by the way, there are no local yarn shops near me. Um, but I'll go hang out with Kit from All Things Crochet and Knit with Kit and we'll go check out some yarn shops. <laughs> so that's what I'll do. Okay, so the last thing that I have is an order from Wool Warehouse. And uh, I am going to blame this on Crystal from Bag o Day. Hi, Crystal. Yes, everyone blames you. You're the enabler. You make everyone buy. You don't make them, but you show beautiful yarns that you find, and then we all get sucked in. So um, I did make an order with Wool Warehouse, and it came. So I'm going to show you guys what is it. I don't even remember what it was. It was a while ago. So let me show you what I got. All right, you guys. It came in this little bag. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And there is the invoice. And um, like I said, I don't remember what I got, but now that I'm looking at it, I remember. <laughs> all right, let's see what it says here. Oh, I see purple sparkly yarn. Okay, it's all good now. <laughs> all right, let me just see if it has, okay, so it doesn't have the US dollars on here. It just has the um, uh, pounds on here. So I don't know what I paid. Um, I mean, I could tell you what the, that would be a waste of time because then you guys would have to go and convert it. Go check out Wool Warehouse. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> all right. So, uh, we're going to start with, oh, this purple sparkly yarn is so pretty. I didn't get a whole lot. Um, but I'll show you what I did get. All right. So the first thing that I got, I'm going to put this bag away here. The first thing that I got was this called Candy Swirl. And it reminds me of like the Bernat stripes, the Bernat big value stripes. So let's see what it says. It says, uh, special candy swirl st style craft, 100% premium acrylic double knit, 443 meters, 484 yards. It is machine washable, tumble dry cool. You can even use a cool iron on that. Uh, you can dry clean it. It says a four millimeter knitting needle and it does not give a crochet hook. Uh, it is, the color is called Strawberry Taffy and it's 150 grams made for Stylecraft under license in Turkey. So I picked up three of these um, cause you, I don't know, why not? <laughs> but here, let me show you the colors on there. They're really, really pretty, and it's really, really soft, you guys. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the pinks. This this looks like it should be a shawl. Um, just because, oh my gosh, it's really soft. Or a hat and a cowl. I really, really like that. So I picked up three of these. It doesn't remind me, um, 
of anything that we have here. Maybe because, I mean, it's a DK, um, but the stripes are really like long, long stripes. So I'm not sure what to compare it to, but it's really, really, really soft. Like I can't wait to work with that. Okay, the next thing I got was James C. Brett Northern Lights, one ball, one shawl. And uh, I have actually used this before. I was gifted this in a lilac color and I'll tell you about it. And then uh, why pink? Why did I get pink? Probably because I already used the purple. Okay, James C. Brett double knitting, 450 meters. Here, you know what? I got two of them, so I'll show you guys that. 492 yards, 95% premium acrylic, 5% viscose. It looks like a uh, hand wash cold. And uh, I don't know what the rest of those symbols mean. <laughs> Uh, recommends a four millimeter knitting needle and it does not have a color. It just has a color number, which is NL08. It is 150 grams made under license in Turkey for James C. Brett. And it does say that there, there is a free knitting pattern, but I don't know if that's under the label or online. So I picked up two of these and actually I made... Um, I believe it's called the Glorious Granny Shawl from Fiber Spider. Hi, Fiber Spider. And I made it in the purple one. So I'm going to go grab it and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so here is the Glorious Granny Triangle Shawl from Fiber Spider. And that is made with the exact same yarn that I just showed you, except in purple. And uh, it took, I think, two two cakes. I don't remember this. I made this a while ago, but it's really, really large. And, um, I just love it. Actually, I might put it on now because it's really cold in here. <laughs> so, um, if you guys get a chance, this is really, really soft too. It's so soft. Um, it does get caught. Like if you guys can see, there's these little, like, I don't know, they look like skin tags. If you guys know what the are. It looks like those and they get caught on stuff. So it's not the easiest thing to frog, but there you go. Oh my gosh. It's really, really soft. Okay. So the other yarns that I picked up from them, this one is called Signet Boho Spirit. And this reminds me of Lion Brand Landscapes and Red Heart Unforgettable. So let me see if I can tell you about this stuff. I think Crystal got this stuff too. 100% um, premium acrylic, 100 grams, 240 meters. It says a four to four and a half crochet hook. Same thing with the knitting needles. Uh, looks like it's a machine wash cold. Signet Yarns is located in West Yorkshire. And the color on this one is called Breeze. So I picked up two of these. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. <laughs> these are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. They kind of have a little bit of a sparkle to them, which you will probably not be able to see on camera. Um, so I picked up two of those. And then the last thing I picked up, you knew that I had to get something purple because <laughs> last time I made an order, I didn't get anything purple. This is called Stylecraft Cabaret double knitting. And this also reminds me of Landscapes and Unforgettable. And I picked up two of these. So you can look at one. This is 98% premium acrylic, 2% polyester, 230 meters, 251 yards, machine washable, cool tumble dry, cool iron. We recommend this yarn is used from the center of the ball. The color on this is called Purple Haze. It's 100 grams. And it says made for stylecraft under license in Turkey. So um, there you go. If you guys can see the sparkle on that. Oh my gosh. That's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay. I might have to put down a blanket and start working on that. <laughs> so anyway, I didn't want this to go too long. It looks like it's already pretty long. Um, again, it's Christmas day. So Merry Christmas to everyone who celebrates. If you don't celebrate it, I hope you have a happy weekend. <laughs> um, and by the way, we are coming up on our two year potiversary. I think in a couple days. So perhaps you should be, um, hitting the subscribe button and turning on your notifications. 
and do all that other stuff because there has to be a giveaway, right? Um, we also hit over 10,000 subscribers on this channel and I haven't been able to get to a giveaway for that either. So something's got to happen soon because <laughs> I'm busting at the seams. All right, guys, that's all I have. Merry Christmas and I will talk to you later. Have a great night. Bye.